I'm Chef Frank, this is Proto Cooks, and today we're making a family favorite appetizer, fried artichokes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I wanna stop the video here for a second and talk about appetizers. What exactly are they? Appetizers are just small little dishes or snacks before the meal to whet your appetite, to get you excited about the main dishes. And a lot of cultures have them. Uh, in France, they're hors d'oeuvres. In Italy, they're antipasti or antipasto. Uh, and in America, finger food or starters. And they could be as simple as my plate right here. I have some triple cream cheese, some charmella from Frozen Own Italy that I made with my cousin, some soppressata, some speck. Uh, and what we're gonna do in this series is we're gonna highlight appetizers. And we're gonna start with the ones that I make for my family on special occasions. I'm gonna have a link to our pan con tomate and our fried Italian hot peppers. And then we're gonna move into different ones from different cultures. Uh, I would love for you guys to put your comments below about what your families do for appetizers. I'd love to hear uh, what people make. Um, and with that, let's go back to the video. Before we start prepping the artichokes, I wanna talk about how I buy them. Usually artichokes or these globe artichokes are sold by the piece. Um, but what I'm looking for is this, is that the end of the artichoke stem isn't really kind of brown and super discolored and soft. They're heavy for their size. You pick it up and say, wow, that's pretty heavy. It didn't look that heavy. Um, the leaves aren't open and the artichoke itself is fairly compact. There is actually a little bit of technique involved when you prep your artichokes. Artichokes, if you leave them out in the oxygen, once they're peeled, they start to get black. So the first thing I do is get my lemon water ready and I have a bowl with lemon. Uh, just, this is just one lemon squeezed into the water and this will keep them from oxidizing and turning black. So I have my lemon water. If you don't have lemons, you can use some sort of acid, red wine vinegar, white wine vinegar, or white vinegar, that's fine. But I like lemon because the flavor of lemon is actually delicious. Um, I have a couple of other pieces of equipment, uh, a nice serrated bread knife, uh, a paring knife, and a spoon. I have a peeler as well, um, and I'm gonna show you where the peeler comes in. I don't really use the peeler, but for people who don't have great knife skills, a peeler might be helpful here, okay? So let's get into cutting these, and I'll show you how I prep them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut off, you have to trim off about the top two thirds or the top half of the, of, the, um, of the artichoke, okay? That's what I do first. Usually when I prep artichokes, I only do two or three at a time. I don't do a ton of artichokes because I want to leave myself time to prep the artichoke all the way so it doesn't oxidize. So the first thing I do is cut the top off and then I'm gonna start peeling off the leaves. Right, you take the outside leaves and I'm gonna just peel them away. You gotta be careful sometimes because the top of the artichoke plant sometimes has little uh, hooks or little, little spikes on them. Um, so you just don't wanna get those in your finger. It doesn't really hurt that bad, but it's just annoying, right? So we're gonna take off all of the outside leaves, right? And what I'm looking for is to go from a very dark green to a very pale green. So I'm gonna go fairly far into the artichoke. So you can see that it's dark green and I'm starting to get pale here. Uh, these outside leaves, if you want, you can take these and steam them and eat them. Uh, if you wanna do that, that's fine. You just steam them until they're cooked through and you can eat them. Uh, but for what we're doing today, that's where I wanna go. I wanna peel almost all the way to where the leaves are a, a light, light green. Get my paring knife, right? I'm gonna cut the end off. A lot of people will cut the stems off here. I like the stems, right? And what I'm gonna do with the stems is peel them. And if you don't, aren't confident in your knife skills, you can peel it back here. You can just take this and peel the stem, okay? But I usually just use my knife for this because I don't really wanna have like six pieces of equipment. But you wanna peel the stem back and then once you get to this part, you want to take off all the dark green stuff. I want to take off all the dark green leaves and just cut them back. Okay, I like to leave the stem. The stem is delicious. If there's any kind of dark pieces here, you can cut them off. And the next thing I'm gonna do is cut this in half. Right, I'm gonna cut it in half all the way through the stem. And then I'm gonna take the choke out. The choke is this kind of like, uh, I don't know, hair, I guess, inside the artichoke, and that's where it gets its name. And what I'm gonna look for is there's a separation here where the choke meets the center of the artichoke, and I'm gonna pull that out with a teaspoon, right? I just get in there and scrape it out. 
right? The choke is not delicious and it will actually make you choke. Um, on smaller artichokes, if you get kind of baby artichokes, it's not as prevalent and it's not that big of a deal. But on these, you have to take it out, okay? Scoop it out with your spoon. And you can see that how quickly they start to oxidize. They're starting to turn brown already. So you're gonna take out that choke. I'm gonna just clean up the choke here. And then I'm gonna cut these into sections. And this is what I'm gonna fry up. Like so, oh, my stem came off. It's not a big deal, I'm still gonna fry it. So I start out with the whole artichoke and then I get these sections. And those go into my lemon water, okay? Well, I cut through the stem there. And then I cut through. If I see any extra choke in there, I can always get my spoon in and pull it out, but these go into my lemon water. Now that our artichokes are prepped and in the lemon water, um, you could leave these in the water for, for quite a bit of time, as long as they're submerged. Uh, if you uh, aren't gonna get to them right away, I would just take a paper towel and lay it right on top. Let the paper towel get wet and it'll keep them kind of from oxidizing. Um, but this is basically the way that my mother and my grandmother have always done it. This is something that, uh, you know, uh, my mom can't make fast enough during the holidays and usually people are eating them as they come out of the fryer or out of the oil and uh, this is the way we coat it. And this coating is more like if you've ever had like a chicken franchise, it kind of has like this uh, soft and kind of golden coating and that's what we do for these. So the way we get to that is we take our artichokes, I try and shake off any excess water. I put them directly into flour. So I'm gonna coat them in flour first. There's no seasoning in my flour. We'll put salt on these afterwards. Uh, coat them in flour. You don't wanna to have too much. I try and get it coated everywhere. I tap off the flour and I'm dropping them into the eggs. So we're just gonna coat all of them into in the flour and then we're gonna drop them in the egg and then we fry. One time when I was a kid, uh, my grandmother was making fried artichokes. Uh, she was also making fried calves brains. And uh, knowing that as children, we probably wouldn't eat the calves brains. She just told, them they, they told us <laughs> that they were artichokes. And all of us dove right in and, and ate the artichokes that were really calves brains. Uh, and we're all like, these are delicious, Nanny. Um, and we all ate calves brains for the first time. Uh, and she, uh, she kind of chuckled and she's like, oh, they're calves brains. And we were all disgusted by it. But the artichokes have been trimmed, dredged in flour, then in eggs. And now I'm gonna fry them. Uh, I just have vegetable oil here and I'm basically deep frying these. Uh, so my oil's at about 3, 325. I don't want it too high because I want them to brown, but I also want the artichokes to cook. My oil is ready. Uh, and what I do is I'm trying to take the artichokes from the bottom. I have my little fork here and I'm just gonna drain them lightly. I take them from the bottom because I want some of that egg coating to be on there and I'm gonna drop them in. And these cook for about five to seven minutes. And I'm looking for them just to be brown on both sides. Look at that. There's a little piece of stem I had. Put in there, they're delicious. Uh, some of the other things that I have here as well is I have a pair of tongs. I have a, a plate with paper towels or napkins on it and salt. Paper towels are gonna drain off any excess oil. Uh, the tongs that help me pull them out of the fat and the salt, once these are out of the oil, they get seasoned right away with salt. And uh, my mom never puts enough salt, so everyone's always putting extra salt on. Okay, so we got them in there. We'll probably have to do two batches. A lot of times my mom and uh, even my grandmother back in the day uh, would do like three or four batches. Uh, we did two artichokes, they'd probably do four or five. Uh, and now all I'm doing is letting them fry See, so you can see that it's cooking. It's not getting brown immediately. If you put these in the pan and they're browning immediately, your oil is too hot. The coating is gonna burn before the artichokes are actually cooked. So 300, 325 is where you wanna leave it. Um, just remember when you add the artichokes, your oil is gonna cool down a little. So I always start just a little high, okay? And what I'm always looking for when I'm frying or pan frying or deep frying is bubbles. When you see bubbles, water is bubbling out like this it's not gonna be greasy. They'll be nice and light and crisp, okay? So I'm gonna let them cook on one side and just leave them be, watch them, make sure they're cooking, making sure they're not getting too brown. We'll give them a flip, let them cook on the other side, and we'll take them out. I'm gonna give them a turn now. They're not super golden brown yet, but I wanna get the other side sealed up. 
I'll give him a turn. Get my stems turned. Oh, get over there. Come on. Uh, this is one of those appetizers where you're going to pluck them out of the oil, season them up, and serve them right away to your friends standing around the kitchen. Uh, that just happens to be my family dynamic, and even my friends. They, they hang out in the kitchen. Um, and it's really hard to get them to go sit because that, this is where the action is. The action's in the kitchen with this guy. Okay, these are getting close. I want them to go just a little more, get a little more brown. I'll turn them, see what side is, needs a little more browning. This brings back great memories for me of my grandmother on my dad's side, my Italian grandmother. This is why food makes me so happy because it gives me good memories. Okay, we want to also make sure that the artichokes are cooked. So we just, I just press on it a little. If I can feel that it's soft, it's good to go. When these come out, we're going to put salt on them. But if you want, you can throw some lemon on them. You can dip them, make a dip for them. It's totally up to you. Uh, I'm just showing you the basic recipe and the funny thing is, is that uh, the way my family likes them is that plain. It's just, they come out of the oil, we salt them, we eat them. There's no sauce or anything like that. So if you want to throw a sauce on them or throw some lemon on them, it's totally up to you. Oh, don't want to knock that over. Okay, they look like they're good. I'm going to drain them, put them on my uh, paper towels or my napkins. You can see the coating is not super bready. Like you can do these and bread these with uh, flour, eggs, and breadcrumbs, but uh, you don't get such a light coating with that. So what I love about these is that the coating is really light and airy and it doesn't overpower the artichokes. Oh, I almost dropped it. Get that last stem. So while they're still hot, I get my salt. I'm using kosher salt and I season them really good, right? They need a fair amount of salt. People are going to clutch their pearls and say, Chef Frank, I know you're the salt master, but that's way too much. It's not. It's the perfect amount. Let's give the artichokes a taste. Look at them. They're beautiful golden brown. The coating is light and airy. It's not heavy. So we're going to taste artichoke. Let me give it a try. Mm. Absolutely delicious. A light coating, crispy, the right amount of salt. Um, uh, artichokes have this really great kind of buttery flavor to them. I love them. My family loves them. Um, and you should give this a try. It's a great appetizer to make for your friends and family. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Hit the little bell to get notifications of when we have a new video out. We try and do at least one a week. Uh, I'd like to thank our patrons for all their help. Uh, if you'd like to become a patron, check us out on Patreon. We have merch in the link down below. Need salt. I control the salt t-shirts. And we also have a P.O. box if you want to contact us that way. Uh, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed these fried artichokes. I'm Chef Frank. This is Proto Cooks. Have a good one.